All right, we're gonna play a few games of GeoGuessr here, and this will kind of be like a behind the scenes of how I kind of get the rounds that I do. And if you guys want to get better at the game, you guys can take notes. Um, but just kind of like a learning video um, to kind of show you, you know, what I think in these situations. But this one is gonna be the UK because we got our sign. We're gonna be in Europe, and you know you're in Europe with thin roads and um, our signs on the left. Uh, which means we're driving on the left, so we're going to be in the United Kingdom. So there's one right there. And it, that red sign is also not in Ireland, so because Ireland also drives on the left. Um, this one here seems to be, we got yellow center line, and we can see the four bars on our car. We got Spanish. When you can see four bars on the car, it's only common in a few countries. Um, one of those being Guatemala and I think it's the only Spanish speaking country that has the four bars on our car. So pretty simple round there. This one's either gonna be Canada or the United States. Um, these kind of look like very Northern type trees. Canada and America is one of the hardest uh, rounds to decipher. They're like almost identical, but I would guess that this is probably Canada. If it's America, I mean, it's very common. Even professionals get, uh, get these wrong, so. But yeah, we're in Canada. Wow, that's actually a really good guess. So, Canada and America just takes a lot of practice. Um, this is just Thai on the sign here. Thailand also drives on the left side of the road. Pretty simple, yellow center lines, white outside lines. Pretty easy. This one also seems very Canadian to me. And we got a Canadian flag. But just like, it seems like kind of like a barren, kind of desolate kind of trees. It's kind of hard to describe, but I feel like on this side of Canada. <clears throat> so there's a streak of five, which is pretty good for no moving. All right, we are, wow, this is another, this is a good tip here where do not trust the sun. Because if you look at our compass, um, you guys, I'll show the compass, but the compass is pointing south. So if the compass points in the south, it means you're in the northern hemisphere. But in this specific case, the sun is incorrect. So um, we're going to be in the southern hemisphere. And we also have these bollards, which are specific to our Australia. And uh, we're driving on the left side, which you can't really tell except with this sign here. The sign's facing the other way. So this will be Australia. And actually, that's a yellow post <clears throat> on the sign, which is in western Australia. I just learned that one the other day. <clears throat> okay, this one. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be uh, Denmark. At first, I thought this was Belgium, <clears throat> but we've got uh, we got this sign here that's red, which is very common in Denmark. <clears throat> and uh, there's this metal pole above. It kind of wraps around the pole, so this will just be just be Denmark. It does look like Belgium though. <clears throat> and by the way, I could get some of these wrong. It's there's nothing wrong with uh getting getting some of these wrong. It's it's a hard game. But this one, we are we've got yellow center lines. We're going to be driving on the right side of the road here. This one seems pretty difficult actually. <clears throat> but we're going to be in I don't know why well, what's wrong with my voice here. Something's wrong with it. But we've got um Spanish or Portuguese. I don't really know for sure. I have a feeling this is going to be uh oh these are Mexican bollards, which are white and black uh, on the bottom. <clears throat> so this looks very tropical. And uh, so I'll go South Mexico. It's pretty good. We're driving on the left here. Um, a lot of Asian countries do that. We got some Chinese characters, but this could just be Japanese uh, kanji. We have low cam as well which is basically like our fat blur on the car. You can kind of tell it's low cam that way. Um, you can't see any Japanese, I don't think. Most of these are, okay, wait, here's some Japanese. These are specific Japanese characters called hiragana. China and other Asian countries don't have them, so this would just be Japan. Pretty good. This one, I think a lot of people would be scared with this one because it looks like a lot of people call, I see a lot of people saying hacks on, on this kind of place, but it's very, it's very simple. 
and that's uh, Lesotho. Lesotho's got this short grass everywhere with no trees. Um, so I'm like 95% co uh, confident that's Lesotho. If it's not Lesotho, then it's going to be some sick bordering answer that is like, okay, fine, you win. But we can almost <laughs> just like that. But we, we're good though. But it's almost, it's going to be Lesotho 95% of the time. So, something that people don't believe me on, but it's actually a very simple round. <clears throat> okay. Next, these kind of roofing and kind of buildings that uh, aren't as uh, architecturally sound is more Eastern European. They're kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, and we don't have rifts in the sky, which is common in some Eastern countries, but we've got these red license plates red stripes on the license plate, which is in uh, Kyrgyzstan uh, and Albania. But this is not Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is very dry, and it doesn't look like this. So this will definitely be Albania. Okay, this one feeling uh, very North American. We've got these signs here. Um... Wooden posts on signs are more common in Canada than the U.S. Doesn't mean it's going to be Canada. It just means if it's not Canada, it's probably going to be in northern U.S. area. This is a very hard round. This would stump almost any GeoGuessr player. <clears throat> Highway 53. I would guess that this is America. This looks more American to me. So, if it's Canada, then GG. You know, let's go like... Uh, I'm not very good with America, actually, so we'll go here, but we're good, Wisconsin. Okay, this is almost for sure going to be Spain or Portugal. Uh, I just know because of the golden grass, very white dirt, and olive trees. Olive trees are around the Mediterranean, and they're common in a lot of countries around the Mediterranean. This sign, I believe, these chevrons are are blue and white, which I believe are in Spain. <clears throat> but if it's not Spain, it could be very southern France or Portugal, but I think it's just Spain. So we're good. And how many more do we have left? Two more. All right, let's do two more here. This is a, looks like a speed limit, 30, but I think it says maximum up here. Maximum is a Canadian speed limit. Uh, so this is going to be Canada, not America. If, if I'm reading the sign correctly, which I feel like I am. We also have a wooden post on the sign, which supports Canada. Very Northern-like, uh, situation here too. Oh, also, wait a minute. These, this license plate, um, which one is it? I believe it's Manitoba. We should be here actually. Just like that. One more to go. Let's see if we can get a good 15 streak here. All right. These are yellow center lines with white outside lines. This one kind of tricky a little bit. Wow. Um, we've got, I believe, mountains in the distance. So I believe this is going to be um, Norway. This one's pretty tricky too. We don't have signs. We don't have a lot to work with here. But this is either going to be probably, it could be Alaska. Actually, Alaska has a different camera than this. I would suspect this is Norway. Let me look at this. Okay. Yeah, this seems a little bit, doesn't seem like English. So let's just rip Norway. If it's not Norway, then GG, but there we go. So that's how you do it. I mean, I'll do, if you guys want me to do more of these, uh, you know, like like the video and comment on the video so I know that people want me to do this more often. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. See ya.